So we got two House committees, and I know you're following this very closely, Cheryl. We have the Judiciary and the Oversight Committees, all right? And the Judiciary Committee is headed up by Jim Jordan, who's a bulldog and very, very anti-Biden. Um, and it's going to look into a couple of things. Um, the documents, they've already said, we don't really trust the Justice Department and the special counsel, we the Judiciary Committee. So we're going to look at it, too. And they're going to look into whether Hunter Biden gave Joe Biden money when Joe Biden was vice president, gleaned from the foreign uh, businesses that paid Hunter Biden. Those are the two big headlines. Let's take the Hunter Biden thing first. How do you think this is going to shake out? Well, I think all these committee investigations, including that, that particular one regarding Hunter Biden, is going to shake out in much the same way that the Twitter files uh, released by Elon Musk through various reporters have shaken out. It's going to confirm and give factual basis for what we already suspect, those in the conservative and critical thinking side of things in America, that Hunter Biden has very deep connections that should have prevented Joe Biden from being president or at the very least, raise red flags in even the mainstream media. And they're largely ignored and covered up by the media. But that is a case that wouldn't get Joe Biden kicked out. If he took money and didn't put it on his tax returns, as you know, he's released his tax returns. There's no Hunter gave me 500000 on it, okay? Um, that would get Biden out of there. That would destroy him. So what are the odds that that happens? You know, I'm not very optimistic when it comes to true accountability on whatever findings come from any of these committees, even the newly created uh, Committee of Weaponization of Government and especially the China Committee that's supposed to be bipartisan. I don't think that there is ever real true accountability for some of these politicians, not in this lifetime. But I am optimistic about changing the narrative in much of the media and changing even and educating the, the minds of independent thinkers in America. So next time we go to the ballot boxes, we may have some more informed voters. Okay, so you don't think Jim Jordan's gonna nail that thing down about Hunter giving Joe money? I think he may actually nail it down, but I don't think in the end it's going to matter because the media is going to carry water it's a crime. like you just. It, it's, a, it, it's a crime. It's a, if he didn't, you know, put, if Joe Biden didn't put that on his income tax return, that's a crime. That's a felony. But you named Hillary Clinton, right, as obvious criminal whitewashing of records. And where's the accountability for her? How many politicians are guilty of crimes that you know? But this right, is this is different, though. This is bribe money. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I see. I don't know whether Jordan's going to do it or not. I mean, I think he wants to do it, uh, but I don't know if it's there. I don't know if Hunter Biden gave his father money. But if he did, no matter what the media does, not going to get away with it. All right. Now, the Oversight Committee is now looking into um, classified documents. Both committees are looking into the documents. Um, but it's also investigating the FBI and uh, the accusation that the federal government, through the Justice Department, helped elect Joe Biden. Are you optimistic that the Comer, James Comer from Kentucky, that his committee is going to get that? Between James Comer and Jim Jordan on the weaponization of government looking at similar issues, yes, I think they're going to be able to show uh, clear infractions on the part of our intel sources and so forth. But again, as far as accountability, if the expectation here is handcuffs and jail time, I think we, do, we need to lower our expectations on that. Yeah, because that's going to happen under Merrick Garland and the Justice Department. But remember, these investigations take forever. Mm -hmm. um, and if there is a Republican a Congress next time, Senate goes Republican and a Republican president, there is a statute of limitations there. They can go back and get these guys. But you're right. It's, it's a very, very difficult thing to do. Last question. Um, I believe that our government is corrupt now. And I've said that uh, on the radio a number of times and on this broadcast as well. I think we have corruption in this country, largely because the media no longer, as you pointed out, 
holds politicians they like accountable for corruption. So a Hillary Clinton gets a pass. Um, and once you have no watchdogs at all, nobody informing the American people at all, yeah, you got Fox News, but even Fox News, as you heard, is they're going a different direction. I'm not quite sure what direction it is, but they're going a, di- a different direction. But if you have the, a media that's not going to hold the, pre- the politicians accountable, which is what the founding fathers wanted, then you're going to have more corruption and more corruption. That's what happens in Russia. I mean, that's what, you know, whatever Putin says is, is great because the press is going to get a bullet in the back of the head if they go up against him. Now, it's not a bullet in the back of the head here. It's a mass group think here. You're in D.C. You know what the group think is, Cheryl. Yeah, and you lay out the sad and sorry state of affairs of America right now, right? It's not just the media's failure to hold corrupt politicians accountable. It's the American public's uh, open acceptance of the media's failures that is really the the force behind driving this, this open corruption in government. And, you know, the only thing you can do is keep fighting and exposing the truth and doing, uh, doing your job as a representative of the media and hope that in the end, the American people will rise up and fight back about against this corruption because you're right we're, we're headed down a, a path of a third world communist type nation well we're headed down the rome path is where we're headed if yes. you want to really make an accurate historical analogy many many americans are apathetic they just want things from the government as long as they get what they want they don't care about corruption they don't care about violence in the street they don't care about open borders they don't care about any of that just gimme 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 that is absolutely growing. Cheryl, as always, a very uh, stimulating conversation. Thanks very much. And I Thanks. hope we could talk again soon. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532.